Today I'm going to show you how to sync your Minecraft saves between two different computers. Because uh, I play Minecraft on my uh, home computer and I also play Minecraft on my laptop on the go. And I'm thinking to myself, why does Mojang not offer some cloud syncing service like basically every other game? <laughs> like even Plants vs. Zombies for Steam offer this, it's like from 2009. But whatever, it doesn't offer it, um, as I know. So. Uh, we'll have to solve it ourselves. And I've actually found a way how you easily can sync your Minecraft saves between uh, different devices. So uh, this is of course Java Minecraft, so it only works for your Minecraft world on Java Minecraft, and the Java Minecraft is the one you play on uh, computers, so Mac or Windows. Uh, and uh, basically I have my laptop there and I have my uh, you know, big PC, and I want to sync these saves, and I'm actually going to use my phone, which I'm recording on, I just realized, uh, to uh, as a transfer device. And the thing is, with my little solution here, is that it's completely free, and it's not very hard to set up. So if you watch this video to its fullest, you will know how to sync your uh, saves between different computers. And it's very easy, and it's free, and it works. So I can play on my same single player world on different computers. It's very handy. So let's get into it. To sync files we'll need a free software, which is known as a syncing client. This is Resilio Sync, which we will use. It's free for home use which we are going to use it as. So let's download it. I have Windows 64-bit, so I will download it. Run the file, and here we can see some um, options. Now create desktop icon, open Resilio Sync after installation, add exception to Resilio Sync and firewall, uh, restart Resilio Sync when uh, Windows starts up. I recommend you to uh, keep all this checked in. This last option as a Windows service is more for servers. Um, it basically lets it sync without even having the like software or anything running. Uh, but I want it a regular, like a regular client. All right, uh, you will need to select a name you want for this particular client. Now this is not like uh, your name. This is the name for this particular device. Uh, and anyways, uh, we will check this box to assure that it's not a business use. We are using it as uh, regular people. All right, get started. All right, so to sync Minecraft saves between different computers, we of course need to install Resilio Sync on both the computers and possibly also a phone. Uh, because uh, Resilio Sync is not really a cloud service, no, it is a syncing service, which means that in order to sync, both of the devices need to be online. Which means uh, you might need to install Resilio Sync on your phone as well if uh, your computers that you will want to sync the Minecraft saves between will not be online at the same time. Anyways, uh, to set this up on the devices, we will need to go uh, and find the Minecraft saves. So write in percentage app data percentage in the Windows search bar and click enter. When you do, you will get here to roaming. You can go into Minecraft, conveniently the first one here, and we go to saves. And here we have this uh, search. Uh, that is what we want to copy there. So we will want to make a new folder. Here uh, we can start making a new folder. So we select standard folder and we just paste in what we got here and click enter and click select folder. Right, so new peers, I invite must be approved by me. This is good for safety reasons uh, when you, you know, send it to, if you don't, yeah. If you accidentally send it to someone and that get a link, they can sync to your file as well. And here you have a key and QR code. That's different ways to access it. Uh, I do not want to click here because then everyone can see my code and be careful with this code. You don't want to share it. 
Here we have permission. You want to select read and write when you sync between your own devices so that you can uh, play via both the, uh, yeah, both the computers basically. Right, and then I will copy or email this uh, link to myself. So now I've sent the link to myself and now we are at my other computer and I've clicked the link from my email and I get to this page saves, which uh, I can select. I already have sync. I already have sync. We always want to choose this uh, Resilio sync and open. Beautiful. So uh, now at the other computer, um, I've opened the link from the computer where we set up the Minecraft save folder. And now I need to uh, select where they go. And of course they go to Minecraft saves. So find the Minecraft save location right there. And then you just click connect. It of course contains other saves, but it doesn't matter. Click OK. All right. Then we're just pending approval. I can go back to my previous device and I'll just click approve there and it will start sync. However, it will only be live then when both of the uh, devices are online at the same time, the Minecraft saves will then sync. Uh, to bypass this, of course, I will need to also install Resilio sync app on my phone uh, and adding the Minecraft folder there as well. So here we are at my phone. All right, so here we have Resilio Sync app, install it, and then you'll open it. And uh, in here you go to uh, settings and we go to advanced. We will now turn off simple mode because uh, then otherwise it's just automatic with the uh, file locations. Under network, you can turn on or off if it will be allowed to use mobile data. You can use it to only use Wi-Fi as well if you want to. If you don't want to use your mobile data, that is. Now I already set up a little folder there. Uh, but what we basically want to do is we want to click the plus icon to get more folders. And what we can do is we can scan a QR code, we can get the QR code from like our uh, from our syncing or we can enter a key or a link. All right, so you can go into your email in your phone, open up the Resilio sync link as well and then you'll just go and select the location and click create. All right, now we will just need to wait for uh, approval from our uh, main computer, which we created the link and sent it from. Beautiful. And having the Minecraft saves on your phone will basically uh, make it a weird transportable syncing device that will make it, you know, sync and stuff. Uh, there is one thing more uh, I can show you on this one before, you know, setting it up properly. But when we have approved it, we can go on the eye here and we will need to uh, turn off selective sync. Here we can see selective sync turned off uh, because otherwise your uh, Minecraft saves won't be automatically uh, updated between the computers. Uh, so turn off selective sync. Well, now we have set up and accepted all the syncing links between my stationary computer, my laptop and my phone. And uh, I don't need to have my phone, of course, to sync these uh, folders, but uh, then my computers, my stationary computer and my laptop needs to be on at the same time sometimes. And if this is not the case, I need my phone as a kind of uh, middle hand. But uh, the files which I will sync over are pretty small, so it doesn't matter. And of course, uh, I don't need to have the syncing program running in the background all along uh, with my phone. So I can click exit on it on my phone, which I do now. So you can see when I no pairs online. But uh, well, if you use your phone as a middle hand, you just have to remember to turn the software on a little bit and then turn it off again to keep the files we have selected synced. 
So that's very nice. Working very well so far. So hope it works well for you as well. Thanks a lot for watching this little video and I hope it helped you. You should also subscribe to the channel to uh, see some more Minecraft videos. Also, if you haven't checked out my Lava Cast tutorials, you should definitely do that. But I'll see you in future videos. This is your host, Jim Resen, signing out. Like the video. See you. Bye.